Hello, my friends. I'm going to attempt a big old cloud pour today on a 20 by 20 canvas. My cloud mix, I mixed up August 20th, so a good couple of weeks ago. And I find when it sits around for a while, it uh, tends to behave better, react better. I'll put the details down below as to what goes in here. My colors um, are a little unusual today. I've got gold, old gold artist loft. I've got a kind of a teal I mixed with um, thalo blue and grass green, master's touch. Mostly the blue, um, but you can see it's not the same color. The green reacts nicely. Um, when I, I did try that same mix and I mixed it half and half and it the green just took over. So a very, very green color. I might add some to, but I may not. But anyway, this is mostly blue with a little of that green in there. And I think that's a beautiful color. And then I've got some blue violet. That was ultramarine, which is uh, kind of a violet color anyway, with um, violet. <laughs> Master's Touch again. I mixed some dark brown, Master's Touch Raw Umber, and added some Artist Loft Metallic Black, just to darken it a little more, and um, there's a bit of a shimmer to it, but not a lot. And what else? Oh, and then light green. I just mixed up some white and added some of that green I showed you. To come up with a kind of a minty green. So I have a lot of darker colors here. Well, I guess I have three and three. The cloud mix, the green, the gold are on the light side, and then the others are a dark value. So we'll see. Let's get to it. Loading up the cup. I'm going to start with the light green. Can you hear that music? My neighbors, my party animal neighbors, <laughs> are having a party. My window is closed. My room is up toward the front of the house. Um, painting room, but uh, it is, windows are closed tight and I can hear that very clearly and I imagine you can too. what I'm going to be pouring over because um, it's just too purple for me and I never really liked it. But I want to show you, um, I didn't varnish it, but it has a nice kind of a satin sheen to it. This is uh, the finish of the Liquitex Basics fluid paints. It dries with a nice kind of a satin sheen. So I like that, but it's just too much purple for me. <laughs> so I'm saying goodbye to it, and I wanted to pour on a big, uh, a big square canvas today. So here we go. Wish me luck. Pretty much just a straight pour with um, turning of the wrist. I might do a little circular motion. Where 
Where's the white? I was worried I, I added too much and uh, it's barely making an appearance, but I think it, it's coming. I hope YouTube doesn't um, get me for copyright infringement of that music, but <laughs> it's my neighbor's party. Here comes the brown. That was interesting. It didn't show up until now. Oh, I like the, the light green. Here's some white. Okay. Ooh, kind of pretty. All right, I'm gonna uh, pause a moment, let that percolate, and I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay, it's been a good 10 minutes. Um, I realized I had more paint left in my colors and in the original cup. You know, there's always more. You never get it all out. So I added them to the cup, and then rather than do another um, straight pour somewhere else on the canvas or continuing in there, because I kind of liked what I was seeing there, I just applied the rest of it in a ring around my original puddle. Then I added some flow extender, and uh, here we go, and ready to tilt. As you can see, the cloud pour, uh, cloud mix rather, is um, reacting nicely. And here we go. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> it's a lot of paint on the surface here. Kind of slowly move it around, stretch it out a bit. I won't bother uh, worry about going over the edges unless it wants to, like it did on its own quite yet. Flow extender is an uh, interesting color. It was brown and green mixed together. It's very earthy, but I think I'll, I'm not going to leave any of that as negative space. I don't like it that much, and I, ha I need to uh, stretch these paints. I have a lot of paint on the surface. Let's go over to that corner there. There we go. That's nice. Very happy with this cloud mix. The way it's reacting.
I'll let you enjoy the music from next door while I tilt. <laughs> Wow, a lot happening here. <laughs> I should open the window for you and let you hear what is really going on next door. I see I have a very square shape going on here. I'm going to have to adjust that. See this? Um, I'm going to have to play with the composition and change that up. Well, let me come down here and then I'll figure out what to do. Maybe I'll just send it part of it off to the over the side there. Hope I don't regret that. I'm just looking at the whole thing as I tilt, watching all the areas, seeing what I like, what I want to change, what I want to get rid of. Although, you know, the paint has a mind of its own as well, so there's... Wow. I like, I'm liking it. Uh, let's see. I was kind of looking at this corner up here as too dark, but I think it needs it. Um, and it's kind of counterbalanced by this corner here. So I think that works. This is pretty up here. I'm liking it. I like the whole thing. This maybe is the only questionable section. So applying the weight of the paint. Still a lot of paint on the surface. And just maybe send that down a bit. Yeah, I'm going to send this light strip to the edge and then I'll pull it back. Hmm. 
Well, I hope this dries nicely over <laughs> what's underneath. I don't usually like to pour over paintings unless I'm experimenting because uh, sometimes they don't cooperate. However, um, what was underneath was just flow trawl and water. So um, I think it'll be fine. It's when I've used uh, glue or polycrylic or some other more complicated recipe underneath and pour over it. It doesn't always cooperate with what's on top, but hopefully this will be okay because I think I've got a winner here. Not sure of the orientation just yet, but uh, that'll be determined when it's dry. Let me bring you in for a closer look. That uh, cloud mix is very, very reactive. I've had good success with it before. And again, the recipe details are in the description box. And it may even uh, you know, percolate a little more. That's a pretty corner up there. Yeah, I like it. There's lots of lots of movement, lots of areas of interest, and uh, kind of cool colors. My friends, I'm going to open the window just so you can really get a, a good listen to what's going on next door. <laughs> and there you have it. Okay, my friends, thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time and I will show you the dried results on a future video. Bye now.